Okay, Aretha, we're going to make one more video for you, make you a little bit more aware of the stuff going on with your laptop. And um, hopefully I don't have too many audio interruptions, but I think the other couple of videos I've made so far won't be too bad for you. We're going to open up Norton 360. Again, we can do it here by double-clicking there. Or we can click the little chevron here and then double-click the little icon, mouse over it, and it says 360, Norton 360 more specifically. Double-click that. So you can either click here or that icon up there. We're going to click the open button. And then in this window, we're going to go all the way over here to security and click on that. Then go over here to history. What we're doing is we're going to check to see what has been the results of your antivirus scans most recently. So in my case, we can see here I've done a few things like I actually... Um, uh, had a WARS custom scan in the results, and I had executed it, but I had stopped it prematurely. So it says canceled. It tells you that. You can see how many files I had scanned by that point. Within those 19 seconds, 27,909 items were scanned. Now, my machine is more powerful than yours. I have more CPU power, and I have a great deal more RAM, so I can do a lot more calculations faster on my computer. That's why. Um you can use this drop down up here and you can do a full history and maybe see other things that have done like quick scan result. Those were completed around 725 today on the 3rd of November. You can tell that based on here. So that executed about 12 minutes ago if you take a look. Okay. More things you can do is check on scan results. So every single one of these scans except for the one that was canceled actually has some results. And you can see um, on today at 7.25 and 36 seconds, again, about 14 minutes ago, that 11,844 files were scanned. And then today around 2.21, a quick scan was executed automatically. And 12,061 files were scanned. No problems found, nothing to fix. Full results. This executed around... 2.21 p.m. Sorry, that's uh, stable sneezing in the background. 2.21 p.m. today, and the full scan ran. took about 13 minutes, and it scanned over a million, 1,157,110 million, items. Found no problems and didn't have to fix any problems. Okay? So I'm going through here, and I don't see any problems. So it's not so obvious when you look in here because all these say info, 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 info. If over here in the far left column. Let's do a little check here to see if any resolved security risk occurred. So there were. I have some code situations that happened on my computer. Uh, tracking cookies were detected and they were removed. That's a good thing. You kind of want to prevent other websites from knowing where the heck you've been. Uh, and that's why we make sure we use Norton antivirus uh, products to basically do that for us without us even knowing. Okay, so it was low risk, but I did find some tracking items, and they were actually taken care of. See, threat actions performed, four. It took care of them. Uh, you don't have to do anything. That's why it says resolved, no action required. Click on the next item down. Quick Hash GUI, that's a tool that I actually use. And I'm kind of a little bit concerned that I have it quarantined because I use it as a security tool for doing other things. And I'm guessing its reputation might have been uh, besmirched. In other words, somebody may have made a complaint about it. And take a look right here. It says Quick Hash GUI executable uh, contained ws.reputation.1. So somebody must have put some naughty code in that little program that I use for security purposes of checking other files to so trust them. So who do I trust? The person I can't trust or do I trust another tool? That's the reason why we check these uh, tools out. And there's well, results. Resolved security risk it was the option I used to find these things. Hopefully, you don't have any naughty code on your machine and you won't find any options in here by choosing this drop down and specifically selecting resolved security risks. Let's do unresolved security risks. Thankfully, I don't have any problems on my machine with some weird uh, code, naughty code, I call it. Um, and they're not unattended, so there's nothing in this category. Good. 
quarantine. I have a couple, and if you notice, it's exactly the same name as the other one. So there was a quarantine executed. Basically, it took things out of the way so it can't be used. Nothing else will be exposed to it, and so I need to probably go ahead and remove this binary from my machine and go find a newer version of of it or find another way to do what I need to do with this tool. Okay? So um, right now I'm going to leave it at that. don't think there's anything else more critical. You can feel free to click through the other options and see whatever you have. But um, if you do, be very careful because you might – Cause yourself some problems. Basically, stick to the recent history or the full history, the scan results, resolve security risks, unresolved security risks, and quarantine. That's it. I'm going to go ahead and click the yellow button down here that says close. And then I'm going to click the X button up here on the right to close this. And I'm going to click the X button way up here to close that. And if you ever find any problems while you're doing the history check, within those categories I showed you, then you need to let me know and I'll help you out with that, okay? Otherwise, that's the end of this video.